Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and today I will show to you how we can exchange background of our image in Adobe Photoshop system. I will be using images I downloaded and licensed from Adobe Stock. Also, of course, I will be using Adobe Photoshop CC Tony 18 and my Wacom tablet. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have um, opened my first image I would like to work with today. Very beautiful family, very beautiful image. But I would like to exchange their background. Also, I have um, another image I would like to uh, use as my uh, background uh, image um, located in my Creative Cloud library. To add any image from your Creative Cloud library into your document, simply click on any image located in uh, Creative Cloud library and drag into your document, just like that. Now, of course, I can uh, reposition it. I can resize it if I will need, and I will need it later on for sure. And I will click to accept this layer. Now, guys, I have two layers, one background layer, family, and another um, park layer. I would like to reposition my um, family on top of um, my park layer, but my layer, uh, my family layer is locked. To unlock this layer, simply click on lock icon, voila, and layer is unlocked. Before I will move my layer, I would like to rename all layers. Double click on layer name, and I will rename it to the family, just like that. And um, as a second layer, park, and voila. Now I will click and highlight my family layer and I will drag this layer on top of my park layer, just like that, voila. So now we have two layers, family and park. Now I would like to um, start working uh, on removing uh, background from my family layer. I will start with a um, quick selection tool I will switch to selection tool without plus or minus sign on it and I will start selecting my uh, family. Guys, don't try to be perfect from the first time. This is quick selection tool. You can adjust this tool at any time. Basically, this is a rough selection. Just like that. So now my family is selected. Perfect. What I will do now, I will go select and click on select and mask. And now I'm in my favorite select and mask um, workspace. I love select and mask workspace because it's easy, it's fast. And as you can see, I uh, not selected a woman's arm. To select woman's art, arm, I will click on a selection tool to um, plus sign and I will simply drag over her head, uh, uh, arm and voila. Perfect, right? Now guys, I would like to correct my selection and say by truth, I love uh, what Photoshop did for me. It's uh, pretty much a very, very, very awesome selection. Uh, but as usual, I would like to correct some mistake. So what I will do, guys, I will switch from, before I will switch to another view, I would like to point out that my favorite uh, view in uh, Select and Mask workspace is Onion view. You can choose any view from a drop down menu. Why I love onion skin view just because if I'm on an uh, onion uh, skin view and I will move transparency uh, slider all the way to the left, I will bring my background back. If I will move all uh, transparency slider all the way to the right, I will remove, I will illuminate my background so I clearly can see what I will have after. I will finish um, my selecting and masking workspace. So this is pretty much awesome. But now I will switch to uh, black and white view just because here I can see everything. I can preview hair and all details uh, in my selection. 
if I will need, I can um, correct my uh, selection using all those tools. Those tools are pretty much awesome. But as I said before, I'm happy with my selection. I just want to correct some um, edges. To do that, I will switch to a uh, refined um, edge uh, brush. I will uh, switch a uh, view mode. Uh, I switch view mode to black and white, and I will check high quality preview box just like that. Uh, I'm not touching radius. I'm not touching smooth uh, feather and anything right, um, like that right now. I can adjust any everything uh, or anything later on. Um, I'm using refined edge brush with plus sign and I will paint over my uh, hair. Guys, just look closely what Photoshop is doing for me. Photoshop is masking out hair just in unbelievably uh, amazing uh, way. It's perfect. It's nice. It's just... Um, and guys, how fast is it? I don't need to use my uh, simple brush tool with um, uh, layer mask using black foreground color to um, illuminate the background and anything like that. I'm just using one workspace. Guys, um, amazing. Just amazing. Just continue um, fixing uh, edges of your selection. And in my case, I'm working with hair, ears, and also shoulders and outfit, just in case. Guys, selected mask is amazing workspace. Using every day with all my uh, workflow. Now I will switch back to uh, onion skin view and voila guys, just look how perfect is it. Photoshop did phenomenal job. I don't need to um, switch to any other tool. I don't need to uh, jump between multiple tools to um, uh, mask perfectly uh, my layer. So this is amazing. Now guys, what also I would like to talk about uh, output too. After you're satisfied with your um, selection and masking, um, you need to uh, click OK. You need to save your uh, result. And this step is very important. If you will uh, click in um, output to from drop down menu, you need to choose a new layer with layer mask just like that. In that case, after you will click OK, you will be redirected back to Photoshop workspace. Uh, you will be able to double click on layer mask and come back to uh, select and mask workspace. I will show to you how just in a second. So I specified output to new layer with layer mask. I will click OK and voila, guys. As you can see, now I have one extra layer with layer mask. My family layer, original family layer, is hidden um, by Photoshop. I even didn't click um, on I icon to hide my layer. Photoshop uh, did everything for me. And also Photoshop did add another extra layer with mask layer on it. So guys, let's talk about this. If you would like to correct any mistake, uh, with your selection and masking workspace, simply double click on a layer mask, voila, and you are redirected to select and mask workspace. But uh, after you will uh, finish your selecting and masking uh, workflow, you will click OK, and voila, Photoshop did add another layer. And uh, now we have two hidden a hidden layers. First family original layer, second uh, layer is our first masking layer, and second, third layer is our second masking layer. To, uh, to enable double click and return to select and mask workspace um, feature, you need to go to preferences, tools, and here 
you need to check double click layer mask launch select and mask workspace Sel select this option click ok and voila so guys now we have two layers i'm pretty much satisfied with um what i will do right now i will correct my background layer i will select my um park layer i will click edit free transform i will hold it and click my shift key to resize proportionally and i will resize it just like that now guys you have option to reposition it um just like uh, center it in that case uh, they have kind of very beautiful heart behind them or you can move it to the right to the left depends of your preferences guys i would like to reposition it in the center so it's beautiful family with very beautiful and cute heart behind them just like that right and i will click to accept this layer let me resize now i need to correct a light I will select my top layer, my family layer. I will click on adjustments, window adjustments. This is my adjustment panel. I will click on um, exposure. And in adjustment properties panel, I will click on a clipping mask icon. In this way, my adjustment will be applied only to the layer below adjustment layer so my adjustment layer my exposure adjustment will be applied only to the family layer and now i will uh, move gamma correction slider slightly slightly to the left just like that much better right guys just like that maybe slightly more Perfect. Now I will click on another adjustment. I will click on um, color lookup adjustment. And I would like to apply this adjustment to entire document. I will click on full colors look just like that and voila. This is too much for me. And guys, because I applied adjustment as a separate layer, I can adjust this layer at any time what i would like to do right now i would like to bring down opacity for my layer so i will bring down opacity of my layer somewhere probably about let's see 18 or slightly more 24 just like that and now we have a uh, corrected entire uh, light so what we did we corrected um we made equal light for our background and for our family and also color look up um, fall uh, colors look um, adjustment layer uh, helps us to make light a couple equally so it's beautiful beautiful light right now but i will click on another adjustment i will click on exposure again adjustment and this exposure adjustment will be applied to in our uh, entire document i will move exposure slider slightly to the right it's too much definitely bring down just like that and voila and guys again i know i'm repeating myself but this is very important because i applied adjustment as separate layer i can manipulate this layer at any time what i will do i will bring down opacity for this layer again just like that it's without our adjustment exposure this is with so just slightly guys don't try to apply uh, any uh, adjustment uh, in a hundred percent so it doesn't need to be a lot just sometimes just 58 uh, percent like i'm having right now is the best sometimes i'm applying adjustment about two percent three percent and i'm very happy about that so guys this is um uh our uh image but as i can see right now i would like to adjust um background i will click on my park background i will go back to my free transform tool i will click and hold shift key to adjust my uh, layer proportionally 
resize my layer proportionally and I will resize it more just like that yes and I will move this layer perfect just like that maybe some more just like that yes and click OK perfect now you can save your uh, image you can share your image or um, you can send this image to your client for approval so guys if we are done now I will delete my uh, hidden layers I don't need them anymore just like that and voila you can merge your layers on you can uh, uh, flatten image if you will click on merge visible you will uh, merge all uh, visible layers if you will click on flatten image and you have hidden layers Photoshop will um, merge all um, visible layers and um, uh, Photoshop will ask if uh, you want to delete all hidden layers of course you won't so I will click on flatten image and voila because I previously deleted my uh, hidden layers Photoshop didn't ask me about anything so we are good guys this is all what I wanted to share with you guys if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions and thank you and I will see you later bye